Stephanie is a 2009 graduate of the Donald P. Belisario College of Communications and is the owner of Bennis Public Relations, a firm she founded as a 23-year-old entrepreneur. As a public relations consultant, she served as strategic communications partner for hundreds of clients in both the private and public sectors. She also passionately communicates about her entrepreneurial journey in her successful blog, The Calm Entrepreneur, and also finds time to support students through appearing as a guest lecturer, serving as an alumni mentor, and even hosting students at personal lunch sessions. One nominator spoke about Stephanie's role directing public relations efforts during the COVID-19 pandemic. The nominator said, Stephanie directed our public relations efforts with the launch of Kate, Pennsylvania's first COVID-19 mobile testing unit, an initiative focused on black and brown communities throughout the Commonwealth. During this time of intense social distancing and pandemic scares, Stephanie persevered with her commitment to save thousands of underrepresented Pennsylvanians who were scared and misinformed about vaccinations and COVID-19. You just can't place a value on that level of sacrifice and commitment. A second nominator added, Stephanie is hands-on and works with her heart in all that she does for the Belisario College of Communications in Penn State. She has served as a driving force and her impact on the Belisario College community has been truly transformative. We are so lucky to have her as an alumni leader. Before I present Stephanie the award, I'd also like to mention that Stephanie and her husband, Scott, are the first husband and wife to receive the Alumni Achievement Award. So Stephanie, congratulations. Thank you, Paul. Got to make this a little bit lower. Thanks, Meredith. <laughs> I thought a lot about how this moment would feel, and I promised myself that I would pause with intention to capture a memory that I know will be deeply treasured. This is, without a doubt, the highest honor I have received, personally and professionally, and I am so grateful to every person who has walked along this journey with me. Dean Marie Hardin, the Belisario College of Communications, my fellow alumni, and the many special people in this room tonight who have shown up for me big, not just for this award, but in so many countless ways that have without a doubt led to my ability to receive this honor. And to my husband, Scott, though I am not the first Shirley to receive the Alumni Achievement Award, together we are now the first husband and wife to earn this honor independently of one another, yet for so many reasons, because of one another. And this speaks deeply to the common thread that is Penn State. This thread, which is interwoven into my character, education, and identity, remains the most important virtue I carry with me today. And that is to show up. My admission to Penn State was by no means a guarantee for success. With every class, every commitment, every opportunity, and every obstacle, I had to show up. I had to give my best in a million little ways throughout the monotony of every day, even when it felt like it didn't matter or that no one was taking notice. I showed up consistently and passionately. During my time at Penn State, this built character, friendship, resilience, and stamina, and it did get noticed. Good grades, solid relationships, they yielded career opportunities, but I had to show up and that means more than just being present. It means coming equipped with ideas, energy, and a desire to go above and beyond. To stand out in a large, and I mean large, institution like Penn State, as in life, you have to show up, but you also have to show out. Penn State taught me that. As I reflect on my entrepreneurial journey, long before there was a degree for that at Penn State, it took nothing short of a heart of a lion to walk away from a budding career in state government to start my own public relations business at the age of 23. I knew nothing about this brave new world, but I knew it could be mine if I kept showing up and giving my best each and every day. So I did. Consistently and quietly, I grew Bennis Public Relations into a highly profitable and highly impactful solopreneurship 
applying my passion and building upon the solid foundation that was laid at Penn State. But this success is not my own. I am not self-made. I am shepherd-led. Especially in the last two years, God has showed up for me. Relentlessly, recklessly. They say sometimes God places giants in your life to bring out your David. I have surely had to face my fair share of giants. Giants that threaten to dim my light, steal my potential, and rob me of moments like this one tonight. I'm experiencing right now an amazing moment that is only possible because of the strength of God. At times in my career, I was my own worst enemy and biggest obstacle, but God. I now know my full value through Christ my Savior. He wanted more for me and continues to pour blessings into my life that I do not deserve. But I receive these with grace and gratitude. Now, I don't know what giants that stand before each of you today, mental health, disease, addiction, fear, stress, they cannot defeat you without your consent. Don't let them beat you. Let them build you. I have opened a new chapter in my life for my soul is on fire for others who see themselves on a similar journey, a journey of blazing a new career path, swimming against the current, and finding yourself staring down giants. I empower you with this. You are not alone in the fight. Whether it's the backing of your university, a mentor, your family, and your faith, that one stone you hold in your hand holds every power you need to rise above and to rise to your best self. Thank you, Penn State, for giving me and my peers who joined me this evening the platform to rise and for equipping us to show up and show out so that the world will see why a Nittany Lion truly is a different breed. To close, I offer you this reminder to stay humble and hungry, work hard in silence, let success make the noise, and to God be the glory forever. Thank you.